your friends, they're going to draw Robin. Yeah, a Robin is a bird. And what does the word Robin start with? The letter? R. R. Yeah, we're going to draw or write the letter R first, and then we're going to turn it into the bird Robin. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use crayons to draw with. They also need some? Paper. Paper. You ready to start? Yeah. Let's first use our black crayon to write the letter R. We're first going to draw a line down in the middle of our paper. You could draw it from there to there. Yes, and then it's kind of like the letter P. We're going to draw a bump at the top. Or it also looks like the start of the letter B. There you go. Ow, oh, that's a big one. I like it. And then we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes down. There's our letter R. We did it. And I love your letter R. It's okay that they don't look exactly the same. They both turn out awesome. That's because the most important thing is... To have fun and practice. And practice. Remember to have fun and practice. All right, let's keep going. Now we need to turn this into our bird, a robin. First, let's draw an eye in the middle of our paper. Ooh, I'm drawing it really big. Nice. And then I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to make it a little smaller inside with another circle. And I'm going to color in this smaller one, Ooh, but maybe even add another small one for the highlight. You could just color in the whole thing if you want. Oh, yeah, you did it. And then color in that part. Good job. If you want to make the lesson a little easier, you could just color in the first circle solid black. Okay, now let's draw the beak. We're first going to draw a line that comes out from the top. Then we're going to come back in, then back out, and then back in. There's our beak. Okay, now let's draw the body. I'm going to draw a line that connects to the back. And then let's draw the wings. I'm going to draw a curve that comes down like this. Yes. And then we could also add a tail. I'm going to draw a little V shape or letter V right here. It'll come down from there to there and then back up. What should we draw next? The legs. Yeah, let's do it. We're going to draw a line that comes down here. Oh, I'm going to add another line for two legs. One and two. And then let's draw the little toes on it too. One, two, three. And one, two, three. There's our robin. Oh, we need to add robin eggs. What color are robin eggs? Blue. Blue, yeah. They look really cool if you see a real one because they're crazy blue. Okay, and then I'm going to add another robin egg over here. Yeah, three robin eggs. Oh, do it. Add one more. You got it. We finished drawing our robin. It looks really cool, except we're not completely done. What do we still need to do? We still need to go color it. Yeah, we still need to color it. This part we're going to fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video if you want to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Olivia, give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our robins and they turned out perfect. Did you have fun? Yeah. I especially love your eggs. Blue eggs look really, really cool. And I love the orange on the belly. What else could our friends do to their drawing? The background and add oh. some more birds on it. That would be really cool. And you could also even draw a nest. What was the letter that we first wrote at the very beginning? R. Yeah, the letter R because Robin, the word Robin, starts with the letter R. R. We hope you had fun drawing a Robin with us. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.